Brothers and sisters, please join me in welcoming our good friend, General President Jim Williams. Thank you, Mark. And believe me, Mark, I will never forget that I followed Terry O'Sullivan. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I want to thank Ed Hill, a true trade unionist, for his leadership and his friendship. I think St. Louis is one of the best union towns in America. When I first came here in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, it was the best. How many people remember what a simple umbrella did when a job was bannered in this town? Nobody crossed the picket line. Nobody crossed it. Today, because of what's going on, they're looking for excuses. I can remember Rich Trump could come into St. Louis and the painters had a lineup and they wouldn't talk to Rich Trump because the orders from the council was you talk to nobody. A true picket line. He had to call me in Philadelphia to get permission to talk to the guys. But my best St. Louis story comes, I was a representative for the Glazers here on the international level. The business manager said, hey Jim, I got a pro problem with the plumbers. We're going to go out on the job site. I said, I really shouldn't go because, you know, I'm an international guy and it's a local thing. He said, well, come on with me. We walk on the job. There's 15 plumbers there, four of us. Oh, I'm going to get my ass kicked. The plumbers walked up and said, we apologize for unloading your material. I couldn't believe it. I walked away and I said, the respect, the respect that Terry O'Sullivan talked about was in this town. What happened? I'll tell you what. I spoke to my General President Emeritus, A.L. Mike Monroe, the other day. I told him what was going on here. He looked at me and he said, oh, no, not St. Louis, not that town. I said, yeah, Mike. He said, that breaks my heart. Are we going to stand for this shit? Have you had enough? Yeah! Well, I'll tell you what, I've had enough. And I fought this son of a bitch in every town in this country and Canada. And he hasn't beaten us yet. And if I had everybody here with me, there's no way we lose. It's time we stand together. As Terry said, we fight together. And we take our work back together. You know, this guy's had a plan from the very beginning. He started abrogating agreements with everybody up here. Every trade he abrogated national agreements with and local agreements. He knew what he was doing. And I'm talking about the one in D.C. who's never in D.C. Not the one here. We had election after election and we beat them. 88 elections in Toronto, Canada to represent my drywall finishers. We won every single one. If you put all his votes together, he don't beat us one time. Because there's one thing you say when you're talking to a carpenter or a potential carpenter. If you vote for the carpenters, it'll be the last Democratic vote of your life. Because you'll never vote for your contract. You'll never vote for your leadership. You'll never vote for shit. Because it's a dictatorship. A good friend of mine, Jimmy Grogan, who's sick in bed, gave me his five minutes. So I'm going to use every single one of them, Dick Mantea. You know, this is the scruples of Mr. McCarran. He offered my business manager in Toronto a million dollar annuity, a million dollars, to bring the contractors over to the carpenters. He told them to go to hell. Stick it up your ass. And like Terry said, I asked the priest for absolution before we got started.
because I knew I'd lose it. You know, let's start rebuilding the labor movement that one man is trying to tear down. A labor movement that for generations fed our families, and it meant so much to so many. Where is the leadership of the UBC in Washington? I haven't seen them in years. The carpenters in Washington, D.C. have avoided everything. You know, when he endorsed John Edwards for President of the United States, if you looked at the YouTube, he said, the carpenters measure twice and cut once. Well, let me tell you what they cut. They cut the building trades. They cut the AFL-CIO. They cut pride, OK? And they also cut the experiment of change to win. Okay, they don't realize. Hold it. It's too late, Doug. The war started. There's no going back. Today's that line in the sand. No going back. Everybody together. So all I can tell you is this town don't have three local unions number one for nothing. This was the birthplace of organized labor. And as far as the self-proclaimed judge of productivity for the building trades, Terry Nelson, go ahead, drop your F-bombers. Let me take it. Let me take a minute to tell you the carpet, how the carpenters handle their fiduciary responsibility. The contractors from Local 57, okay, the real carpenters are paying for their automatic health and welfare benefits. They're automatic, all the carpenters, as soon as they organize those creepy contractors, they got instant health and welfare. They got instant invested in their pension plan. You know, somebody ought to check his productivity on his responsibility to his members because he don't care about the rank and file carpenter. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm almost finished, but I want to I want to talk about one more thing before I close. And I'm as serious as a heart attack right now. You know, I'm a third generation IUPAT member. My two sons are fourth generation, and my grandson's a fifth generation. Everything I have, everything my family has, is on this union's back. I'm nothing without this union. And this union is nothing without our members. Our members are the most important things. And I said to Terry O'Sullivan before I got here, I said, Terry, you guys ain't going to wear those silly orange shirts, are they? And he says, and you guys ain't going to wear those, those black and gold shirts, are they? But I got a surprise, Tar. Also, those red shirts out there, they're the Glazers, OK? So we got red, we got black, we got gold. But we're all together here today, and we're all together for one reason. We're going to take that son of a bitch on in every town. We're going to get them, and we're going to do it together. Do you have your support? Yeah. God bless you. Thank you very much.